Hello, I'm Lord Cakes Maggie. Today, let's take a look at how to tell the difference between the high and low versions of the Tiffany Air Force sneaker. These are two shoe boxes, one dark and the other light. Which color do you prefer? First, let's look at the shoe box label. Just take a look, it seems that there is no difference between a label and a hoop. Let's take a look at this pair of light colored shoe boxes. It looks as if the color is orange. The colors described are also different. Then look at this iron ring. It looks much better. It is worth mentioning that this cover has special lungs. It's like Ian Tiffany's logo, thickly dotted. But this dark box, the cover is clean without any lines and it is very smooth. Okay, now let's see the difference between two pairs of shoes. Oh, till that three pairs of shoelaces, take them out. It looks good! And the small bag has Nike logo on it. Look at the other one. There seems to be no Nike logo on this transparent bag. But the shoes look good, too. After two pairs of shoes are put together, you will find that the colors and materials of the two Nike logos are different. The lighter one above uses soft lychee peel, which is mud, while the darker one below will be harder and brighter, and the upper is made of suede-like reversible leather. The following materials are ordinary leather. Let's look at the shoelace joint. The right side is made of lighty leather like Nike logo. The one on the left is made of a kind of suede, which looks like the upper material on the right. And the one on the right looks darker, and the one on the left looks like ordinary Air Force material, which will reflect light. The shoelaces on the right will be much thicker than those on the left. Let's look at the Chang part. This one on the left looks very difficult. It's big and covered with shoelaces. The Tang logo of this pair of shoes on the right hand side will be much smaller, and it is a very small rectangle. The inside of the shoes is made of soft and delicate lambskin, which is very comfortable. The pair on the left is also very soft, this is very good. The sole looks okay, it's just that the color is too bright compared with the genuine one. The one on the right looks good too, however, the right sole will be darker and not particularly bright. Look at the inside of the shoes, using a three-dimensional silver logo that is as smooth as the genuine one. The pair on the left is the same. The heel of the shoe looks good. Oh, Tilda compared with it, the gap is still very big. First of all, the cortex is different, and the visibility and details of the logo on the right are far beyond the left. The silver metal sign on the right will have anti-friction protection, while the one on the left will be directly exposed to the ear. There seems to be no difference in the front of the shoes. The one on the right looks a little neater. But it seems that there is not much difference. I like these shoes very much. If it were you, would you pay $120 for the left pair or $150 for the right pair? Let's see the difference between wrapping paper. I don't know if you can see that the paper on the right is smooth and clean. The color on the left is darker, and there are some impurities in it. Oh, that's all I'm talking about today. Do you think there is a big gap between the high version and the medium version? You can tell me what you think in the comments section. You can also tell me which pair of shoes you want to see. Goodbye. See you next time.